ஹாய் நண்பர்களே எல்லாத்துக்கும் வணக்கம் இப்போ நம்ம இந்த வீடியோவில் என்ன பார்க்க போகிறோம் அப்படிங்கிறத பார்த்தீங்கன்னா டெஸ்லா அப்படிங்கிற எலக்ட்ரிக்கல் காரை பற்றி தான் நம்ம பார்க்க போகிறோம் ஏன் நான் இதை பற்றி பார்க்க போகிறோம் அப்படின்னு சொல்கிறேன்னா ஃப்யூச்சரில் எல்லாமே எலக்ட்ரிக்கல் காட்டி மாறும் ஏன்னா இப்போது இன்றைக்கி நல்ல வரப்படி பெட்ரோலோட ரேட் என்ன டீசலோட ரேட் என்னன்னு உங்களுக்கு தெரியும் எனக்கு தெரியும் அதனால் இந்த மாதிரி நிறையா கார்ஸ் எலக்ட்ரிக்கல் காண்டி வர சான்சஸ் இருக்குது எலக்ட்ரிக்கல்ஸ் ஆர் ஆட்டோமொபைல்ஸ் ஃபுல்ஸே எலக்ட்ரிக்கல் கார் ஃபுல் அண்ட் ஃபுல் சேஞ்சஸ் ஆகிறதுக்கு வாய்ப்பு இருக்குது இப்போது டெஸ்லா அப்படிங்கிற வந்து கார் அப்படிங்கிறது வந்து ஃபுல் அண்ட் ஃபுல் எலக்ட்ரிக்கல் மேனுஃபேக்சரிங் பண்ணி லான்ச் பண்ணியிருக்காங்க இதில் நிறையா மாடல் லான்ச் பண்ணியிருக்காங்க இந்த கம்பெனி எங்கே இருக்குது யார் ஆரம்பித்தா எப்படி இருக்குது அப்படிங்கிறத அந்த வீடியோ பற்றி பார்க்க போகிறோம் அப்புறம் இந்த வீடியோவில் இந்த கம்பெனி ஃபுல்லாக உருவாக்குற மேனுஃபேக்சரிங் உருவாக்குறாங்கல்ல ப்ரொடக்ஷன் மேனுஃபேக்சரிங் அது எப்படி இருக்குது அப்படிங்கிறத தான் ஃபுல்லாக பார்க்க போகிறோம் இந்த கம்பெனி பார்த்தீங்கன்னா யூஎஸில் கலிஃபோர்னியா அப்படிங்கிற இடத்துல ஸ்டார்ட் பண்ணியிருக்காங்க இதில் மாடல் எஸ் மாடல் த்ரீ மாடல் ஒய் அப்படின்னு நிறையா மாடல்ஸ் இருக்குது அதில் ஒரு சில மாடல்ஸ் ரேட் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா மாடல் எஸ் அதனோட ரேட் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஒன் பாயிண்ட் ஃபைவ் க்ரோர் சொல்லியிருக்கிறாங்க வா ஒன் பாயிண்ட் ஃபைவ் க்ரோர் பார்த்தீங்களா அடுத்தது மாடல் த்ரீ செவன்ட்டி லேக்ஸ் சொல்லியிருக்காங்க மாடல் ஒய் டூ க்ரோர் சொல்லியிருக்கிறாங்க ஏன் இதை நான் பற்றி சொல்கிறேன்னா ஃப்யூச்சரில் எல்லாமே எலக்ட்ரிக்கலுக்கு மாற ஃபுல் அண்ட் ஃபுல் எயிட்டி பர்சன்டேஜ்க்கு மேலே இருக்குது ஏன்னா பெட்ரோல் அண்ட் டீசல் இதனோட ரேட் வந்து ரொம்ப அதிகமாகிட்டே இருக்குது பூங்காலத்தில் பெட்ரோல் டீசல் கிடைக்குமா என்னங்கிறதே ரொம்ப ரேர் தான் இந்த கம்பெனி எங்கே இருக்குது எப்படி இருக்குது இந்த கம்பெனியை ஃபுல் அண்ட் ஃபுல் மேனுஃபேக்சரிங் ஆட்டோமொபைல் ஃபீல்டில் மேனுஃபேக்சரிங் எப்படி பண்ணுறாங்க அப்படிங்கிற இந்த வீடியோ பார்க்க போகிறோம் ஃபுல் அண்ட் ஃபுல் எலக்ட்ரிக்கல் இன்ஜினியர்ஸ் ஆர் மெக்கானிக்கல் இன்ஜினியர்ஸ் எல்லாம் சேர்ந்து உருவாக்கப்பட்டது தான் இந்த டெஸ்லா கார் ஓகேவா இது ஒன்ஸ் ஒவ்வொரு டைம் சார்ஜ் போட்டால் கிட்டத்தட்ட முந்நூற்றி தொண்ணூறு கிலோமீட்டருக்கு மேலே பயணிக்கலாம் அப்படின்னு சொல்லியிருக்காங்க இது வந்து ஒவ்வொரு மாடலுக்கும் வந்து வேரி ஆகும்னு நினைக்கிறேன் இந்த இண்டஸ்ட்ரியை பற்றி தான் நம்ம பார்க்க போகிறோம் இந்த வீடியோவை ஸ்கிப் பண்ணாமல் பாருங்கள் ஏன் நான் ஸ்கிப் பண்ணாமல் பாருங்கள் அப்படின்னு சொல்கிறேன்னா நீங்கள் இதை ஃபுல்லாக பார்த்தீங்கன்னா தான் இந்த வீடியோவில் ஃபுல்லாக எப்படி மேனுஃபேக்சரிங் பண்ணுறாங்க அப்படிங்கிறது வந்து உங்களுக்கு வந்து ஃபுல்லாக தெரியும் இடையில ஸ்கிப் பண்ணி ஸ்கிப் பண்ணி பார்த்தீங்கன்னா உங்களுக்கு வந்து ஃபுல்லாக தெரியாது நம்ம சேனலை சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணாமல் இருந்தீங்கன்னா சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணுங்கள் பக்கத்தில் ஒரு பெல் ஐக்கன் இருக்கும் அதை கிளிக் பண்ணுங்கள் கிளிக் பண்ணிங்கன்னா ஆல் இருக்கும் அதை கிளிக் பண்ணுங்கள் இதே நான் எல்லா வீடியோலும் திரும்ப திரும்ப சொல்கிறேன்னா நீங்கள் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணுனீங்கன்னா தான் நான் போடுற அடுத்தடுத்த வீடியோ உங்கள் மொபைல் நோட்டிஃபிகேஷனுக்கு வரும் ஓகேவா நீங்கள் நம்ம சேனல் வீடியோவை தொடர்ந்து கண்டினியூவாக பார்க்கலாம் வாங்க வீடியோ கூட போலாமா போலாம் This man has a vision to create the best electric cars ever seen and consign gasoline to history. This is something truly revolutionary. He wants to build his unprecedented Tesla car in a futuristic new factory. trigger an electric transport revolution it's been a long time since something like that happened in the car business but it's here it's a dream many have had but none have realized Aluminium bodywork 19 inch alloys and a $50,000 price tag At first glance this car is the latest in a long line of high end sedans but that is where the similarities end The Model S is a totally different type of car. Tesla believe it can lead a revolution and change the face of motoring forever. It's the first ever mass-made premium sedan powered purely by electricity. Designed to have speed and range and not a drop of gas. 
Our goal is to create an electric car that is the best car in the world and show that that's what an electric car can be. Tesla's goal is to kill off the combustion engine and prove the electric car has finally come of age. Driving a gasoline car is going to feel like yesterday. Driving this car is driving the future. Elon brings in Gilbert Passin as head of manufacturing. Gilbert is an expert from one of Toyota's award-winning plants in Canada. His uh, description of my job to me was very simple, you know, you've got to create the best factory in the world with the best people in the world and make the best premium car sedan. And I said, okay, so where's the factory? Well, you have to find one. Where's the team? Well, you have to make one. The company purchased a former GM and Toyota site in Fremont, California, on the edge of Silicon Valley. In true Silicon Valley style, they fill the space with the most advanced technology, creating an automated production line capable of building tens of thousands of cars. Super efficient multitasking robots, self-guided smart carts and computerized production schedulers. The factory is designed to be up there with the very best in the world. We love engineering, we love beautiful machines, we love new technology, we love to innovate with uh, high technology. And also in manufacturing, we love to do that. Every robot is programmed by hand. The Tesla team has meticulously trained 130 sophisticated robots over a year and a half. One of the last robots still to be programmed is a multi-point welding robot. It will be used to join the car's underbody. These are pretty busy robots, so we've got to make sure that our attack time is good. A robot's work is only as good as the man who trains it. Brad Johnson is a welder with over 25 years experience at the highest level. Getting this done today, we'll have the teachings all nice and smooth and then we can start running 100% in full automatic. That sounds good. The space in which the robot operates is treated as a three-dimensional grid. The head can be manually guided to any point using a teach pendant. There's our start point and our weld position. Brad guides the robot millimeter by millimeter and uploads the coordinates. The robot works out the most efficient route and runs the program. Looks like the teaching is right on mark and uh, we have a really good quality weld right here. So we should be able to run full auto with this weld. When full production begins, Brad's handiwork will be exactly replicated by the robot 100 times a day. Since their inception in 2003, Tesla Motors have been pursuing their electric car revolution with a step-by-step -step strategy. In an unconventional business move, Elon decreed that Tesla must invest in their reputation first and worry about profit later. Stage one, make a small number of high-value cars that prove electric power can be desirable. The Tesla master plan is very simple. We start off creating an expensive, low-volume car to help break the mold in electric vehicles. Plan in place, they set to work on their first car, basing it around the British build Lotus Elise. Powertrain. The powertrain 
is incredibly small. Um, you get the same performance out of a motor that's the size of you know, a watermelon that fits between the rear wheels. And everything else above that is what I call the opportunity space. The design team started with the motor and flat battery pack and worked upwards. With the motor next to the wheels, there's no need for a drive shaft, so there is no rise under the rear middle seat. There is no fuel tank or transmission. The Model S has free space from the floor upwards. Tesla need to build 20,000 cars a year. But before mass production can begin, Gilbert and his team must prove the factory is ready. The company is relying on them to get it right. We have to make sure that car after car, the quality is there, everything is perfect along the way. So we are really gearing up towards a production ramp up. Over the next few weeks, the factory will test manufacture a limited number of Model S. If the line doesn't perform with these cars, the company will be forced to miss their deadline. Tesla's electric revolution would be over before it started. A very, very important moment is the birth of Model S in our Tesla factory. And it's where, you know, the rubber is going to meet the road, so to speak. The process begins in stamping. To increase the battery's range, the company have decided to build 97% of the Model S with lightweight aluminium. It's an extremely rare feature in a mass production car due to the cost. Every Model S starts as one of these. The roll is loaded into the mechanical cutting machine. Once cut, the panels are passed to the stamping press. We need to translate flat pieces of aluminum into 3D forms. And how to do this with aluminum stamping with the level of quality that we expect is, is, is really, really challenging. To meet the challenge, they buy the largest available stamping press in North America. It's one of the first pieces of equipment they install. Over three stories high, it has to be transported from Detroit on 70 trains and then entirely rebuilt. The immense pressure from the stamp allows them to press the complex body shapes needed for the Model S. It can be mounted with different heads, known as dies, that mold the panels into a wide variety of shapes. Robotic arms feed the four stamps. Each stage forces a more detailed 3D shape producing stacks of floor plates. These lightweight aluminium parts improve the Model S's power to weight ratio, which helps increase the performance and range. The car can be charged by 100 kilometers every hour from a regular power outlet. Ultimately, Tesla are hoping to install superchargers along major highways that can charge the car to capacity in 45 minutes. You can charge the car up every night, but you don't need to. You can actually charge it once a week. The high-performance battery pack is formed with over 7,000 small cells. They're organized into a flat layer with specific groupings of positive and negative. The final layout is the key to the pack's power and range, and Tesla considers it absolutely top secret. The motor unit is also developed in-house. 
It's essentially an AC induction motor, a concept invented by 19th century scientist and Tesla Motors namesake, Nikola Tesla. He harnessed an electromagnetic field to turn a basic motor. Modern day Tesla has developed their motor with a highly conductive copper cylinder. When the electromagnetic casing is fed with current, the copper cylinder inside starts to spin. It's nearly three times more efficient than a combustion engine. In fact, there are only three moving parts. It connects directly to the rear wheels and doesn't need a transmission. These are the three moving parts in the whole Model S powertrain. One of the cool things also with this uh, very simple gearbox is that when we want to go in reverse in the car and back up, all we have to do is spin the motor in the other direction and the car backs up. We don't need a clutch, we don't need a separate gear for a reverse. The entire drive unit is under a meter long, smaller than a golf bag. When active, the regen system magnetically resists the motor's rotation, slowing the car and harvesting electric current. The energy recovered recharges the battery and extends the range of the car. In the factory, the delivery deadline is now fast approaching. The Model S test production cycle reaches the main assembly area. The car is based around a partially steel underbody. To make it, engineers weld struts and casts into a framework. Brad's newly trained welding robot is about to be tested in full automation. They have trained the robots with prototype parts. Now, with final components coming through successfully from stamping, it's automated production for real. Under observation, it's a tense time for the team. The robots work in a tightly coordinated chain. The second phase hits an issue. With only weeks to go, welding has hit a glitch in automation. One of the robotic clamps is millimeters out of line. It's a tiny difference, but enough to disrupt the process. With the way the robots work and how we have such a tight tolerance of one millimeter to stay on, sometimes the new parts won't reach a box or the clamp won't close all the way. A major delay will disrupt the whole production schedule and threaten the deadline. They adjust the settings and set the robots in motion again. This time, it goes off without a hitch. To the team's relief, the process can be approved for mass production. The run through the automated line reaches the Model S exterior. The Model S body is made up of 14 different sections. To speed the workflow, Tesla construct each section at separate sub-assemblies. Door sub-assembly. The internal frame is joined to the exterior panel. As the robot's pincers come together, they fire a rivet and join the aluminium sheets. Over to the right, side body sub-assembly. One of the most advanced aspects of Tesla's robots is that each arm can perform a variety of different tasks. We have to use all the gamut 
of technology to make the aluminum join between stamping and welding and riveting and bonding and all these things using robots that are multitasking. This flexibility is essential for a compact and efficient workflow. A robot can spot weld using a pincer tool and then automatically detach the pincer and pick up a clamp tool. The same arm that joined the panels can now move it to the next station. It's clever, but tricky and needs constant refining. When you draw something yourself, you take a pencil, you take a eraser with the same hand, right? And then you change the tool, so to speak. Same thing here. Once assembled, the sections are brought together at body assembly. Here, they're riveted around the welded underbody to form the basic shell of the car. All the sections are lined up alongside the central framing line. Gradually, the automated line builds up the side sections, ready to house the doors. A test batch of three cars is complete. Body assembly has demonstrated it can run successfully in full automation. It's a vital milestone in the countdown to mass production. Completely assembled, the aluminium body is now known as Body in White. It's ready for some colour. The Body in White is loaded onto an overhead train that carries it to the paint area. At this vast facility, the paint centre is in a totally separate building. The Fremont site covers nearly 95 football fields of space. It's so big, the Model S production line only fills 20% of it. The future of Elon's strategy first depends on the success of the Model S. In production, the time to the delivery deadline is now running low. The aluminium body arrives on the overhead train from Body Center. Paint Center. This is where they make the car look like a premium sedan. It's a state-of-the-art process. There's a lot of technology that goes into the Tesla car, but the very first thing they'll tell you is what color of Tesla car they bought. That's how important the paint is. First, a roller coaster ride of treatment baths. Detergent to clean the surface, and then electro coating. The electro coat helps attract the paint to the aluminium. The primed car is ready for color. This vehicle will be sprayed with their trademark tint, what Tesla calls signature red. It's a color that we developed that's different than anybody else's red. It's been developed with glass flake to get the specific type of sparkle that we want to get in that paint. It's a masterpiece of perfectly choreographed automation. Even the paint robots multitask using a handle to open and close the doors. Once it's through, the painted body heads up into the ovens to be baked and double glassed.
A specialist team spends hours assessing the finish before the car is passed. Elon's made it very, very clear to us what his expectation is for the paint job. He wants our paint to look like glass, to look like a piano finish. Um, that's the challenge we've been given and uh, that's what we're going to do. The Model S spends over a day and a half in paint. And that attention to detail carries through to general assembly. First, the Model S's panoramic glass roof. The installation robot takes a picture of the top of the car. It uses the digital picture to measure the exact orientation and bond the glass. Next, the interior. The wiring and seats are fitted. The aerodynamic door handles are installed. To get the delicate installation right, a wireless system adjusts the torque for each bolt. The cutting edge dashboard is lowered into the car. It's proof the car is a product of the tech savvy US West Coast. The entire command center is housed on the 17 inch tablet. The interior is virtually buttonless. It does some really amazing things. Not only does it make the rest of the interior super clean and really uncluttered, um, it allows you to have just uh, amazing control of the car and it's just, you know, a push of a button. Like magic. At the factory, the start date for mass production is now only two weeks away. The first batch of test vehicles reaches the vital final stages, powertrain and body marriage. In gasoline cars, installing the drivetrain is a lengthy process. With electric, it can happen in just two steps. Step one, the motor unit complete with suspension and brakes is bolted into the rear wheel berths. There is no drive shaft or transmission to be attached. In one motion, it's fitted. For final assembly, the work is mainly manual. Like the robots, the line worker's performance is being monitored. 509, guys. With every vehicle, they're ramping up to the full production cycle time, or TAC time. Every station here in the factory has to achieve a certain operation in that tech time in order to get it to our customer on time. Here the target is 4 minutes and 40 seconds. Throughout the build, every single time you may hear me in the background saying, we're at 2 minutes, we're at 5 minutes, right? So they can know exactly where they are when we're, we're shooting to get to that 4 minutes and 42 seconds. Step 2. Battery pack installation. The pack's steel case acts as the car chassis. Bolted into place, it gives the Model S its rigidity. A stage along the first complete cars arrive at final inspection. At Elon's insistence, inspection happens on a bamboo platform. He believes you can only judge a car's beauty if it's framed by beautiful surroundings. The last check is the test drive. At Tesla, the track is very different. Because electric cars produce no exhaust fumes, they can be driven indoors.
our people have done so well at putting this card together. You can see the remarkable quality of the paint and the entire vehicle, the body fit and everything. I'm so proud today. This is the first Model S to pass through the production test run. And its quality proves the new mega factory is ready for mass production. It's a big moment for the company. Just to see this car uh, going around the test track here, um, it really demonstrates the fact that the Tesla factory is ready to go. I just have to make 20,000 per year more of this guy, and it's sort of a, you know, a done deal. We just have to you know, get it done. The factory can now push towards the delivery deadline, allowing Tesla to pursue their strategy for an electric car revolution. Can you imagine if all the cars in the world were able to have zero emission, zero noise, and we could do that in a perfectly clean environment? That would be cool. The Tesla Mega Factory may have just built its place in history. Tesla car, a premium padilla, and the car company, a pretty larke, a pretty la manufacturing pandranga, a pretty with a pathic dingla. Okay, or a social engineering field, a pretty darko. Future like no electricals, some of the mine, Yenana, Marapodo, a pretty day. At the update, I'm going to put right. Okay, a much another Marakama, such a pretty name. Okay, a lot of a much another video. Sir Pandanga, Yelaruk Terenjkoto, Technology, Abdi Rede, Yelaru Terenjkoto, Okeva Nandri Wanakam. Nama Arke Flint channel, subscribe Panada Mapananga, Pakatele Idumari or Bell Symbol Rako, Adi and Click Pandanga, Apatana Podra over video, Unga mobile notification Kuvaro. I'm so tired.